Dr Jessica Briscoe, I'm one of the doctors at the National Migraine Centre and we're going to go through this Google board today um, and the question is how to treat migraine. First one is when pregnant. So treating migraine in pregnancy can be difficult because people get really worried about taking painkillers or anything that might harm the baby. Um, there are some options for painkillers that are safe during pregnancy. Aspirin is one of them, which you can take during the first and second trimesters. Um, and you can also take triptans, so sumatriptan, if the migraine is quite severe. Some of the preventative medications are also safe. So amitriptyline and propranolol can both be taken during pregnancy to try and prevent migraines. If you're not particularly keen to have any tablet type medications, you can also have an occipital nerve block, which is a local anaesthetic with steroid injection at the back of the head, which can be given a minimum of, sort of between six weeks. So you could have it at the beginning of your pregnancy and if needed, again later on. But usually one of those injections does last for the whole pregnancy. Okay, the next one. How to treat migraine naturally. Yeah, so lots of people don't like the idea of taking prescribed medications and often ask how, what's the best way to treat it naturally. Um, we do have some fact sheets on this, but the best things that we found in practice are using magnesium. Uh, magnesium citrate is usually the best one to use. Add a dose between 400 and 600 milligrams taken at night. You can also take riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, um, and that is a... Um, just a, that's another supplement that you can take in the morning and usually works quite well with magnesium as well. Um, and the other thing is coenzyme Q10 at a dose of 300 milligrams once a day. And you can try these for at least three months and they can also work as well as the prescribed preventatives and lots of people find them really helpful. Next one. How to treat migraine in a child. Again, people get really nervous about treating migraines in children because it can be harder to recognise what, exactly what the symptoms are. So painkiller-wise, children can have similar things to adults. So they can have the, uh, the prokinetic or anti-sickness, metoclopramide or domperidone. Domperidone tends to be better in children. Um, and they can also take some of the painkillers, but never aspirin if you're under 18. So they can have ibuprofen syrup, um, or the other option is uh, diclofenac as a suppository or paracetamol suppositories as well. Some children can have naproxen as well. Um, sumatriptan can be used as a nasal spray in children and that is licensed as well. If they're a bit older, they can take a sumatriptan tablet. And then there are different choices for the preventatives as well. So um, preventatives like amitriptyline um, and propanolol can be used safely in children. Uh, the main thing with children is actually trying to keep them to a good routine. So get the, the, the sort of routine, prevent, the sort of usual routine triggers sorted nice and early. So make sure they're going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, making sure they're eating regularly, making sure they're drinking um, enough fluid as well. And then the last one, how to treat migraine aura without pain. So yeah, um, uh, a migraine aura without headache or acophagic migraine um, can be a bit tricky. The triptans don't work on aura generally, so it's not useful to take sumatriptan, zolmatriptan or any of the others. The best thing to actually take is aspirin. So you can take um, 300, sorry, 600 to 900 milligrams of aspirin as you would with a normal migraine if you're getting intermittent aura. If you're getting aura all the time, you can take um, a daily dose of aspirin at 300 milligrams once a day um, for about a month or so, and that should switch it off. If you're finding that none of these help, then the usual preventatives can be helpful, and I usually find amitriptyline the best way of managing it.